Good morning, pupils. Hope you're okay right now at home. I would like to welcome you for today's lesson. Uh, today's lesson uh, for grade 6, it is, uh, we are going to see about this civic and moral education. Civic and moral education. So my name is teacher Dawson. I would like you to invite you for today's lesson. Make sure you prepare your materials where you are for this lesson. Uh, today we are going to start about uh, the main competence known as respecting the community. And the specific competence is known as loving oneself and the others. Now, within this uh, specific competence, there are so many uh, sections that we need all of us to pass through. So make sure you pay attention for this. Uh, loving oneself and others. You know that in our community, in our society where we are living, we need to show love, we need to show uh, care for each other. So make sure that you pay attention for this. Now within this part of specific competence, there are so many sections that are forming this specific competence. And we have the, the first one is known as uh, taking actions to protect oneself from high peer group, from high peer groups. Another section is known as demonstrating, demonstrating good deeds to others. The other section, and the last one is known as assisting people with disabilities. So within this one, we are going to show how to, to show love and in our community within this section. But today, we are going to focus on the first section, taking actions to protect and oneself from high peer groups. Now before we proceed, we have terms here we need to look before we proceed. Now, number one, what is the meaning of peer, peer groups. What do we mean when you say peer groups? Eh? You can ask yourself where you are. What is the meaning of peer groups? Now, peer groups means uh, refer, refers to the group of people, refers to the group of people with the same age, status, as well as interest. Interest. When you say peer groups, means uh, refer to the group of people with the same age, status, and the interest. That is the meaning of peer groups. As you know that in our community we have uh, we have a lot of examples of peer groups. So we have to look after our body and other. So that is the meaning of this. Now, we have examples of peer groups. You can ask, what are the examples of peer groups? As we said, refer to the group of people, the uh, group of people with the same age, status, and interest. Now, we have these examples. For example, uh, of this group, we have, uh, we have children, children with the same age, children with the same age, Another example of peer groups, we have teenagers, teenagers in our society. Another example of uh, peer groups, we have adults, adults, and then we have elders, elders as well as youth. So these are examples of peer groups in our society. But also before we proceed, there is another term that we need to look after. This the second term is known as uh, what in the meaning of high high risky peer groups. What is the meaning of high risky peer groups? The meaning of high risky peer groups. Now when you say High risk peer group refer to the group of people of the same age. 
uh, who are who are at the high rate of being uh, infected or being affected by various uh, behaviors in our community. That is the meaning of high risk, high risk peer groups, high risk peer groups. So high risk peer group, for definition, uh, refers to the group, groups of people. Who are at risk, at risk of adopting some dangerous behaviors, some dangerous behaviors are from from the friends and be affected be affected with those behaviors, with those behaviors. So refer to the group of people who are at risk of adopting uh, some dangerous behaviors from the friends as well as be affected with those behaviors. That those are uh, the meaning of high risk peer groups, high risk peer groups. Now, Sometimes high risk peer groups are uh, sometimes high risk peer groups is known as vulnerable groups. Vulnerable groups. Sometimes it's termed as vulnerable peer groups. It is also termed as vulnerable peer groups. What you said the high risk behaviors, high risk uh, high risk peer groups sometimes attend as uh, vulnerable peer groups. So that is the other term which is used to describe the same concept. Now in our society we have the most vulnerable groups, we have the most uh, high high risk peer groups. Apart from those groups that you have mentioned, we have those groups which are which are at high risk of being uh, affected or adopting these risky behaviors. A good example of these uh, groups, we have the following. One, young children. Young children. Another, teenagers. Teenagers. And the last one is youths. So this these three groups are the groups which are vulnerable groups to be affected or to cope different risky behaviors from their colleagues or from their friends. Young children, teenagers, as well as youth. Now, we have also to ask ourselves, what do we mean when we say risky behaviors? Least key behaviors. I thought it take. What is the meaning of risky behaviors? The meaning of risky risky behaviors. What do we mean? Where you are, you can ask yourself, what do we mean when they say risky behaviors? Now, risky behaviors, this are behaviors behavior that put someone into danger, put someone into danger or even it can cause can cause death. Can cause death. So men are in fact, the behaviors that put someone into danger, put someone into dangers, or into disadvantageous situation, or can cause even death to that person. Now, we have various examples of risky behaviors in our community where we are living. We have plenty of examples where you, are, you can think to list it down with examples of peer, um, examples of risky behaviors where you are. 
Now let us move all of us together to mention examples of high uh, examples of risky behaviors in our community. Examples, examples of least key behaviors. Now, now, the following are examples of risky behaviors in our community or in our society. One, drug abuse. Drug abuse. Drug abuse is one of the risky behaviors in our society. This involves the use of cocaine, the use of heroin, the use of marijuana. Uh, smoking cigarette, cigarette, smoking cigarette, and others. So all of these groups fall under this example of drug abuse. We have another example which is known as alcohol abuse. Alcohol abuse. Yeah, the situation of taking in alcohol also it is one of the risky behaviors in our society that today. Those vulnerable groups that you have mentioned, young children, teenagers, and the youth, they need to avoid, they need to abstain from them. Alcohol abuse, taking alcohol. Another example is known as uh, watching and ethical videos. from the internet and the social social medias. Watching unethical videos, watching unethical videos. There are so many unethical videos nowadays, as you know we are living in the world of the, the world of uh, the modern world whereby everything is globalized. So these unethical videos are found everywhere through YouTube, Instagram and other sources. So these children, they need also to avoid this one. Because this is one indicator or example for an, uh, risky behaviors that can put them into uh, dangerous situation. Another example, it is uh, disobedience. Disobedience. Disobedience and laziness. Disobedience and laziness. Uh, people who are not in, uh, willing to work hard. They are waiting, they are, they are there waiting others to do the work for them. They don't want to struggle. This also it is one of the examples of uh, risky behaviors. Another example of risky behavior is known as uh, early sexual relation. Early sexual relation. Relationship and sexual relationship. Yeah, if we, if uh, our young children, teenagers, or youth, if they engage in any sexual relationship, that we say they are engaging in their own dangerous situation that we need to avoid. Engaging in a uh, sexual relationship before the right age also it is one of the risky behavior in our community, especially nowadays. But another one it, it is uh, dishonesty and theft. The last one it is known as dishon uh, is known as dishonest and theft. Dishonest and deceit. People who are not loyal, who are not uh, who are not uh, doing the right thing. With this we regard them as uh, the dishonest people as well as those who steal others' property. So this is also an example of risky behaviors. Now before we proceed there, uh, these are examples of risky behaviors that you need to analyze where you are. Now, now you 
can ask yourself where you are. What are the factors that uh, lead uh, violence uh, group or peer group to engage in these behaviors? What are the factors? Eh? Factors. Let us discuss a little bit about the factors that lead risky behaviors risky behaviors in our societies. What are the factors? What are the factors that lead risky uh, behaviors in our community? There are so uh, many factors that contribute to risky uh, behaviors in our in our society. One of them is known as uh, Poor parental care. Poor parental care or lack of, or lack of parental care. If the parents are not giving their, uh, their, their, their children, they can uh, engage in this risky behavior. So this is uh, uh, the word of advice for parents to make sure that they are just uh, taking care of their children. Another factor which can lead is known as uh, desire desire for luxury luxury properties and eh? the desire for luxury properties is for luxury properties such as eh? such as car mm, cars eh? clothes nice clothes as well as uh, several forms so this also can influence someone to engage in risky behaviors eh? these are for luxury property but someone also can desire for money, eh? desire for money, desire for money. If you're lucky money, you cannot uh, get what you need, your demand. So some people, they are engaging in these behaviors because uh, they are lacking their demand. So, so desire for money can force someone or can put someone into a dangerous situation. Another factor that uh, leads to risky behavior, we have uh, being confused, be, being Convinced, being convinced by adult be convinced by bad mannered adult, bad mannered adult. Being convinced by bad manner, adult, example, especially for girls, they can be convinced by those uh, uh, bad manner adults to, to engage in this risky behavior. For example, in the, in the case of rela uh, sexual relation matters. So we have this one, we call them fatak. Another factor which can contribute is called, uh, is known as uh, emotion. Mm -hmm. Known as emotion, emotion, and uh, this is emotion is specifically uh, influenced by the uh, uh, development of growth of a of, of a kid. Another factor is known as a uh, mobile psychology, mobile psychology, mobile psychology, mobile psychology. The influence from the peer groups, the influence from your friend also can contribute somebody to um, to be in these bad behaviors. So these are the factors, some of the factors which uh, can uh, contribute uh, or can influence someone to engage in risky behaviors. But you can ask yourself, there are effects. What are the effects that can result from these behaviors? The results or effect is certainly from risky behaviors. Uh, let us discuss a little bit about these effects. But before, uh, I would like to mention for you, because of the, the time, uh, the factor, uh, the effect we have this one is someone can be expelled from the school, and you can be expelled from the school and others. But uh, before mentioning, I would like to give you as an assignment. This is your home. Uh, homework assignment. Homework assignment, homework assignment. Uh, 
assignment. Now, the question is, explain the effects resulting from risky behaviors in our society. In our society. Explain the effect uh, effects resulting from risk behavior. So while you are staying there at home, make sure you are attending that question. Thank you very much. That is the end of our lesson. I would like to, uh, to welcome you for the coming lesson. But please take care of the current situation you are facing. Stay at home. Make sure you wash your hands. Don't visit to unnecessary places. Stay at home. Thank you.